been attending a lot of Zoom meetings online lately. And so I've set up our guest bedroom as my Zoom office because my husband has set up his office on our dining room table. And this way I can go in and shut the door and reduce any noise. Well, yesterday I had a meeting scheduled for 2 o'clock. So a little after 1, I started getting ready. You see, I'd watch this video on how to do Zoom better, how to uh, present your best self when you're doing Zoom meetings. And so I went into the room and I set everything up. Um, I put the laptop a little bit higher so that the camera was at a different angle and I moved where I was sitting to in front of the window for some good natural light that didn't cast shadows. And I even put up a green screen behind me so that um, I could use some of those backgrounds, those virtual backgrounds for just a little interest and to make things different. Anyway, I got it all set up, went and brushed my teeth and, and brushed my hair and put on some lip gloss and I came and I sat down in plenty of time to be there for the meeting a few minutes early. So I logged on to the Zoom meeting, and as the audio, I started hearing it, I heard the presenter say, and thank you for joining us today. I hope that this has been helpful for you. I had put the wrong time down. The meeting started at one, not two. So I had spent all this time doing things that really didn't matter in the end. I wonder, I wonder if you've ever um, put your emphasis on things that are not important instead of things that are really important. Well, let's see what the message says. Um, one of today's lectionary scriptures is 1 Peter 1, 8 through 12. You never saw him, yet you love him. You still don't see him, yet you trust him. With laughter and singing, because you kept on believing, you'll get what you're looking forward to, total salvation. The prophets who told us this was coming ask a lot of questions about this gift of God. The Messiah Spirit let them in on some of it. The Messiah would experience suffering followed by glory. They clamored to know who and when. All they were told was that they were serving you, you who by orders from heaven have now heard for yourselves through the Holy Spirit, the message of those prophecies fulfilled. Do you realize how fortunate you are? Angels would have given anything to be in on this. Let's pray. Oh God, help us to know how fortunate we are because we know you and trust you. Help us to focus on what is important. Help us to love others as you love us. Amen. So go today and focus on the things that are most important. Blessings and peace. Bye.